Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of quadratic equations. And in the question, we have been told that A and B are distinct real roots of a quadratic equation that is given to us that says x square plus 20x minus 2020 is equal to zero. So this quadratic equation has two distinct real roots A and B. So A and B both are your distinct real roots. Further, it also tells us there is one more quadratic equation, x square minus 20x plus 2020 is equal to zero. Now it has two distinct complex roots. So I have two distinct complex roots C and D. Further, we have been asked to find the value of a certain expression that is AC into A minus C plus AD into A minus D plus BC B minus C plus BD B minus D, right? So we have to find the value of this entire expression. Now let's see how to solve this question. So if I want to first understand how to solve the question, I can use the idea which you would have studied during quadratic equations that says, if my quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, I can directly use the idea of sum of the roots. So sum of the roots always becomes minus b by a, where b is your coefficient of x and a is your coefficient of x squared. Right, so you can use this idea. Also, one more idea in the same category that says product of roots is equal to c upon a, where if I talk about c now, that is a constant value which does not have x. So constant upon a, that is a coefficient of x squared, right? So this is the idea which we'll be using in the question for the two quadratic equations given to us. Let's see that. So the first quadratic equation that was given to us was x squared plus 20x minus 2020 is equal to zero. And we know there are two roots a and b that are real for this quadratic equation. So if I find the sum of the roots a plus b, that is minus b by a, so minus 20 by one, that is minus 20. And if you see the product of the roots, that is c by a, so it is minus 2020 upon one because c in this case is this entire value minus 2020, right? So the product of the two roots becomes minus 2020. Further, if I see the next expression, that is given to us x square minus 20x plus 2020 is equal to zero. Now we have been told this has two distinct complex roots of the quadratic equation that are c and d. So these are complex roots. But again, if I find some of the complex roots that is c plus d, that is again minus b by a. So it is minus of b in this case is minus 20. So it becomes minus of minus 20 upon a that is so it becomes plus 20. And if you see the product of the roots, that is C into D, that is my that is equal to C by A. So it is 2020 upon 1. It is not negative, it is actually positive. Because here, if you see the C is 2020. Right? So I have got four conditions with me. First was A plus B is minus 20. A into B is minus 2020. Next, I have got a C plus D is 20 and C into D is 2020, right? So now let's try to find the value of the expression which is given to us. So if we find the value of this expression that is given to us, it is AC into A minus C plus AD into A minus D plus BC into B minus C plus BD into B minus D. So if I solve this further, what I get A squared C minus AC squared plus A square D minus AD square plus B square C minus BC square plus B square D minus B D square. Okay. Now if I try to find out some things common here, I can see I have terms for A square 
right? So I have this two terms with me. If I take out a square common, I get c plus d. Further, I can also see b square is common here as well as here. So again, if I take out b square common from that, I get c plus d. Further, if I see, I have c square also here as well as here. So if I take out minus and c square common, I will be left with again a plus b here. Further, if I see the left out two terms are having d square common. So if I see minus d square taken common, I can again have a plus b. So now if I see the value which I get here, c plus d common from both of these first two terms. So I am left with a square plus b square minus here if I take out a plus b common from the next two terms, I have c square plus d square. So let's understand now. One idea I have with me is if I have the square of the two terms that are added, a plus b the whole square, I can write that as a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So if I want to write a square plus b square, I can write it as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab. So if I write it in that terms, I have a square plus b square also, I have c square plus d square also. So if I want to write it, I can write the first bracket as it is c plus d. a square plus b square, I can write it as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab minus a plus b again as it is c square plus d square, I can write it as c plus d the whole square minus 2c, right? So now if I substitute the values that I know for them, c plus d is... 20, a plus b the whole square, that is minus 20 the whole square, that is 400, minus 2 into a into b, I have with me minus 2020, minus a plus b, if I see it is minus 20 again, c plus d the whole square, so 20 square, and minus 2c into d, that is 2020. So if I solve this further, let's see what I get. So I have here 20. 400 minus into minus becomes plus, right? So it becomes 400 plus 2 into 2020, so it becomes 4040. Minus into minus is plus 20. And the bracket, if you see now, 20 square is again 400 minus 4040. So if I solve this further, what I get, let's see. I get 20 into 400 plus 20 into 4040 plus 20 into 400 again, minus 20 into 4040. So if I see, I have one term that is common plus and minus and the other term which is common is has to be added so that becomes 20 into 400 is 8000 and this is again an 8000 so total becomes 16000 so the answer for the question which was asked to us the value of the expression this expressions value we got it as 16000 Right. So the idea in this entire question which we used was this, that for a quadratic equation, sum of the roots is always given by minus b by a and product of the roots is always given by c by a. Right. And that finally gives you the value as 16,000 in this question. And if you see the option which matches in this question, this is. So the correct answer for the question here in this turns out the. So the correct option is D. I hope you have understood how to solve this question, right? I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can subscribe to my videos and also like and share these videos with your family and friends. Thank you.